I want to say thank, first a thank you to the Courage Campaign and all the leaders in California who have helped bring the Courage Campaign uh, to the forefront. It's a great idea to make certain that candidates for President of the United States come to California, talk to voters, listen to voters, and try to earn their uh, respect and their support. I'm actually very proud of the fact that I've been all over California already, in San Francisco, in the Silicon Valley, talking about energy, uh, clean energy, renewable sources of energy, health care. I've been on college campuses, Berkeley, uh, in uh, Los Angeles, in San Francisco. Uh, I've been with farm workers uh, in Central California. I've been all over the state of California, both talking to voters and more importantly, listening to voters about the issues that they're concerned about. Uh, some of those issues are, are pretty obvious. You know, we have a desperately dysfunctional health care system in America. As the speaker has said, universal health care is a dominant issue in California and in America today. I believe we need a specific plan for universal health care. What my plan does is make sure every employer either covers their employees or pays into a fund. You can choose your health care plan either from a private plan or a government plan. We subsidize health insurance premiums up to about $100,000, cover all the cracks outlaw pre-existing conditions, mental health covered the same way as physical health, preventative care, long-term care, chronic care all covered and paid for, mandated coverage for everybody, paid for by rolling back George Bush's tax cuts for the people who make over 200000 a year. Another huge issue on which California has led the way is the issue of climate change or global warming. Uh, we emit 25% of the world's greenhouse gases, although we're only 4% of the world's population. We need to cap carbon emissions in America. We ought to reduce our carbon emissions by 80% by the year 2050. We ought to auction off the right to emit any carbon dioxide. That money should be used to transform the way we use energy. A national commitment to clean, renewable sources of energy, wind, solar, cellulose-based uh, biofuels. We ought to spend a billion dollars on the development of carbon sequestration technology, a billion dollars into making sure America's building the most fuel efficient vehicles on the planet. We ought to decentralize the way electricity is provided in America so that we have more grassroots and community organizations participating, creating competition. And we need to ask Americans to be patriotic about something other than war and to be willing to conserve in our homes, drive more fuel efficient vehicles in our workplaces. And finally, I want to respond to a question. The question was, do you believe that peace, poverty, and global warming, which are, are the primary concerns, are those issues that are connected to one another? I believe they are completely connected to one another. Because in order for America to have the moral authority to lead in the world, we're going to have to demonstrate that we will lead on climate change so that we can go to the rest of the world with credibility and bring them to a global solution to this problem. Poverty, which is a huge issue both in America, where 37 million people live in poverty, and the world, where 3 billion people live on $2 or less a day. America has to lead to have the moral authority to lead on other issues in the world. That's why I've suggested we lead on the genocide in Darfur, on the spread of HIV AIDS, and that we lead an effort to make primary school, age 6 to 15 available to 100 million children in the world who have no education whatsoever in Africa and the Muslim world and to a lesser extent in Latin America. All those things allow America to create, create a safe, safer, more peaceful, more secure world. So thank you to the Courage Campaign for what you're doing. Uh, I promise you that I intend to be engaged with you in a dialogue with uh, California voters throughout the course of this campaign and I want to thank the Courage Campaign and its leaders for your leadership on this issue.